Hi, welcome to another exciting tutorial on Suno. I'm Matt Dean. This time we're going to look at version 4 and see some of the new features that it's got. We're going to start by creating a new song, take a look at how it handles the commands and the prompts. We're going to get a stem for this song, which is breaking apart the instruments and the voice. We are going to save and, re and reuse a brand new thing called a persona which is the performer or the voice that you're using. Uh, we're gonna create a cover song, which is a great way to create an alternate version of the song. And we're gonna remaster an older song. So let's get started. So for every one of these songs, I like to create something new and fresh with my own lyrics. So I've already gone ahead and created a bunch of new lyrics, dropped them into the lyrics section. This is a custom version of a song. As you can see, we start out with our brackets and our verse one. And then we go into a pre-chorus and a chorus, and then a verse two, and then chorus again. So let's see how it handles what I've asked it to do. I have nothing to give that you don't already take And carrying it all was my biggest mistake Who am I if I don't Okay, so let's take a look at this a little closer. Style of music, we asked it to do progressive rap and rock in the key of A minor, 100 beats per minute, strong chorus with full orchestra. Now, as you can hear from this, there is absolutely no rap in this whatsoever. Um, progressive rock, almost more of a metal rock, is what we ended up with. Um, this is a new feature that I found seems to work a good portion of the time, and that is a prompt command in the key of, and then enter the key that you want it to be in. So if you understand a little bit more about music and know the key that you'd like it to be in, or at least attempt it to be in, that is a new feature that seems to work uh, fairly decently. Um, the next one is one we've tried before in videos, and that is looking at the beats per minute, BPM. We put in 100 beats per minute on this one. It's logged in at about 104, 105 beats per minute, so it's close. Again, preciseness is not something we have a lot of control over, it seems, but it kind of can get close to a lot of these. A few other videos, or a few other uh, songs that I've done trying in the key of um, works, I'm going to say maybe 70% of the time that it's in that key. Uh, other times it just randomly picks one. Now as you see, strong chorus with a full orchestra. It's got a strong chorus, but no orchestra behind it. So that one missed. So we've got about 50-60% of what uh, prompts we put in there actually ended up in the song. What I found is really helpful is, is to be much more basic, maybe trying to uh, uh, be precise in your basicness on those commands. Once you try to start mixing too many styles and all, I think it just confuses it. It grabs the first one and just goes with that. So that would be my recommendation. So then let's take a look and see what this did with the stem. So let's go back out to the library. I've created a playlist for this. And I've created a playlist for all of the tutorials that we're doing. So you can go through yourself. If you'd like to look at the songs that were created during this, you can go back and take a look at those for yourself later on, which we've had some requests for. So the next thing we've done here is one of the new features you can access that on these three dots that are here. You can also access it by right-clicking under Create. Under here, you've got Extend. So if you like the song, you want to extend it. You can reuse the prompt if you want to reuse it for something else. Cover song, Persona, Get Stems. So we're going to cover a few of those today. We're going to start with Getting Stems. So if we click Get Stems, it's going to create for you a vocal and an instrumental version of the song. So let's see what it did with Who Am I? Okay, that's the vocals, not great. Okay, and on the instrumental, we can definitely hear the vocals still in the background there. Okay, so stems are a fantastic idea, but in practice, they're a little rough. Uh, especially when you've got a lot of frequencies within those instruments. So you've got something loud like in a more progressive rock and metal. You're filling most of those frequencies with noise from the band and that's covering all that space that the vocals are sitting in. 
If you take something more like a rap song, something where it's just mainly drums and bass, maybe a little bit of high end, you can pull the vocals out a little bit easier without destroying them quite so much. Um, but in this, basically what it's doing is it's just taking AI and using it to strip out those vocals. And there's a lot of other frequencies that are getting stripped out with it, which is why it sounds so rough. So great idea, not great in execution just yet on getting the stems for a song. Uh, all right, so let's take, out, uh, take a look at the next thing, which is uh, saving and reusing a persona. So I've done that on this song already. I'm gonna show you what that looks like on a different one that we have here. Uh, I really liked what it did with this ballad voice that we have on this cover song. So I'm gonna show you how we do that. So we're gonna go to create. We're gonna go make a persona. And here you get to name who they are, make an avatar for them, and you reuse this on other songs. So this is Jenny, this is Oh, folk singer. We're going to create an image for it. And that looks great. And then description, female folk singer. You can decide whether or not you want to make this public. Uh, just keep it to yourself. If you like something you think other people might want to use it, you can make it public. So we're going to hit save. And now we've got Jenny as a performer that we can use on other songs. So now I've done that with this one. This one I named Vaughn. Vaughn, our metal uh, progressive rock singer. And we're going to reuse him for another song. So we've created another one here. This one is called Tundra and Rain. We're going to uh, reuse the prompt so you can see what was involved in this. And what I have uh, what I've done here is created a new set of lyrics and a different style of music that we're going to try using Vaughn on and see what we come up with. So we've run this a couple of times now and this is the first version of Tundra and Rain with Vaughn. Bids me okay. to enter the land that my fathers want. All right, it's okay. It's all right. Um, let's see what the next one gave us. The waving grass. Okay. Bids me that is not a male voice. The land that it's not a bad voice, but it is not what I expected from a persona that should be carrying just his voice. I tried a different one. That one I labeled a style of music as a ballad. This one we did as a Nordic metal ballad, and let's see what that does. Okay, lots of instruments. I did a weird kind of an off-key change there. That that was not great. Okay. Okay, let's see if this one's any better. Okay, so another female voice on what we were expecting. Uh, to have as a uh, as a male voice for Vaughn, so it seems like the personas are are also kind of hit and miss still yet. Now, obviously, this is still in a beta version, um, so there's a lot of work left to be done. But hopefully, they can clean that up a little bit and make us so the personas are a little more consistent. And that's kind of the the goal of this is uh, having a persona that you can reuse. So if you're gonna create an entire album around a certain sound or voice that you like, that you can use it over and over again and have it be consistent. Right now, uh, as you've seen here, it's a little hit and miss. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at uh, creating a cover song for this. So let's get back into our library and let's look at a cover song. So what I've done is taken Who Am I? And in Create, we can go Cover Song. And when you do that, you're going to be creating an alternate to this song. Um, and I found what helps the most in this is changing your style. So we're going to reuse 
this prompt so you can go back in this we can see what we did with these uh, same lyrics that we had from before right and what creating a cover song does is it uses the melody line that you had the basics of the song the building blocks there and reworks it so what you're going to want to do is try different styles of music for that song now uh, what I found works really well is to shift it significantly. So I tried a heavy metal ballad from that version and it came out fairly similar. So if I do this first cover, heavy metal ballad. Okay, so it's very, very similar. Tried another one that was an 80s uh, rock ballad. Let's reuse that prompt so we can see that drop into there and see what that looked like. Pretty similar. So that's great. It, it, you know, it's just a nice alternate. Okay, that's, that's fine. Let's go further. So what I've done with this one is we've taken this and turned it into a folk version of the song. Let's see how far it'll take it with this one. And in this one, I've done the exclude style. So this is another new function here, excluding styles. And you can say, all right, look, I don't want it to include any of this. Now, again, it's beta and it kind of is hit or miss, but we're gonna drop into this heavy metal. So we're gonna exclude heavy metal, try to get it to focus on just being a folk song and let's see where it can take it on this. Passive aggressive has become just aggressive as everyone wants me on their side. But I don't want to choose who will win or will lose and I don't really care about your pride. All that is left is the peace that is lacking. I've given a building foundation is cracking. I have nothing to give that you don't already take And caring at all was my biggest mistake Who am I? Okay, well it's gone from somewhat of a folk song back into sort of a metal and, and rock song So let's try what the second one was that it uh, that generated for us, see what it did Passive aggressive has become just aggressive as everyone wants me go. on their side. But I don't want to choose who will win or will lose, and I don't really care about your pride. All that is left is the peace that is lacking. I've given a building foundation is cracking. I have nothing to give that you don't already take. And caring it all was my biggest mistake. Who am I? If I don't meet okay. your quota, so or fill your that demands. did a pretty nice job of creating a completely alternate version of this song into a completely different style. So, uh, create a cover song, um, create some really interesting variations on that that first song that we liked. So that's that is pretty interesting. A um, lot to work with there. Okay, so let's try the last thing, and that is remastering an older song. So uh, one of the first songs that I ever did was one called Fat Guy in a Little Boat, and uh, that was on version three. So we're jumping out to version four for this. Let's see what version three sounded like. He once was young and spry, a sailor of the seas. But now he's had too many beers and cannot see his knees. Still he is determined to conquer bounding lane. He got himself a tiny boat to set to sail again. He's a fat guy in a little boat. Okay, so that's not bad. That a nice song. Uh, let's see what happened when we upgraded this into version four. He once was young and spry. A sailor of the seas But now he's had too many beers And cannot see his knees Still he is determined To conquer bound in Maine He got himself a tiny boat 
to set to sail again He's a fat guy in a little boat He's trying not to break her The sails are set, the rails are wet The bilge is filled with water So a couple of very notable things. First off, the voice sounds a lot stronger, sounds a lot better. The instruments sound better, the quality is increased. I'm also noticing harmonies. Now, I don't know if those were in the original version. I think it had attempted those, um, but the harmonies here are a lot clearer. You can hear those other voices behind them. And what makes me wonder is how well it can do with duets. That's one of the areas that we had some problems with is getting it to do a male and female duet in other versions that we've tried. And, uh, and now maybe that's possible. So that's gonna be something we're gonna have to try in the future. Uh, in this chorus here, it sounds like it's got some nice and nice duet kind of uh, harmonizing going on. So the other thing I'm noticing is Suno's still having a lot of issues on the high end, and this comes from sampling. Um, when there isn't a high rate of sampling, you get that really kind of tinny, garbagey sort of sounding on cymbals and high instruments and those sort of things. And, and that has definitely improved on version four, but I'm still hearing a fair amount of that. Hopefully, as this goes along, uh, that will get better. Uh, but a lot of it uh, in music you listen to, maybe on Spotify and other things, that the sampling rate isn't terribly high, you get that high pitchy kind of a nastiness. Um, overall, version four has got some really interesting new features. In fact, there's a whole bunch more they haven't covered yet. We're gonna cover in one of the next videos. We're gonna look further at voices. We're gonna look at editing your songs and all that stuff on some other videos, but it's all too much to get into one. So that's it for this one. Go grab the next video and see what we can do with that. Thanks so much for joining me. Talk to you soon. I have nothing to give that you don't already take. And caring at all was my biggest mistake. Who am I if I don't need to quote and fulfill your demands? Who am I when there's no Everything's broken and there